Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for coming down to Ottawa. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name's Connor. I'm from Vancouver. And me and my buddies, we came all the way here. I'm sorry, we, we I, I can't hold this in anymore. I'm pissed. I see a lot of Canadian Patriots. Sorry if I don't know all of your names. If you could tell me your names, maybe maybe I'll remember them. But in the event I don't, I'm sorry. I'm very excited to tell you all today that we're here to take over the government. I'm sorry in advance, Mr. Trudeau. I'm sorry because we want to be as nice as we possibly can but also tell you, you're fucked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Is this, is this the anal fuckers convention? Hello? Can you hear me now? Who is this? Did someone hijack the feed? Uh, I was told that, you know, make anal great again, and I'm over here showing my support to the Canadian people. Sir, I'm sorry, can, can you tell me who you are? Yeah, I'm from Jacksonville. I came up here because I heard anal comes first up here in Canada. Anal first? I'm sorry, is that, am I hearing that correct, eh? Yeah, that that's what I heard. That's why I'm over here. I thought this was an anal fuckers unite uniting. I'm sorry, pal. You think you got the wrong place? The anal uh, convention is in, I, isn't at I, least I for another three months. Also going to be, you know, getting bare nippled for uh for Adidas. Am I in the wrong place? I'm sorry, sir. You traveled all the way from Jacksonville for an anal fucking convention. Well, am I getting that right, eh? Yeah, that's why I'm wearing this shirt. I thought it was Anal Fuckers Unite over here. And and my, I have to say, my nipples are nice and hard for Adidas, too. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I think you have the wrong place. It's uh, obviously what we do here. We're, we're, we're obviously trying to stand up to the government. I mean, you could join us if you like. This is Canada. What kind of fucking government do you guys have? That's a good one. Uh, but you have Joe Biden. Well, I mean, true. But I mean, how long does it take to overthrow the Canadian government? What are they going to do? Say sorry? That sounds about right, yeah. So you want to fuck? That's why I'm here. Let's do it. <laughs> oh god jay that was is your, is a pretty good canadian accent i don't care what the habibi say i mean to me that was a good canadian accent i liked it i thought i thought i did a pretty good uh jacksonville he did a, a good jacksonville accent there you go the the tubes behind me are all lube for the anal fucker convention i'm so glad to hear that. Did you hear the statement that I was yeah. so no, saying? That's what I'm hearing. So you're saying that my teenagers are threatened for being in Ottawa? Is that well, what you're telling me? I'm it was always with the understanding that they would be removed as soon as we can. And in this case, circumstances have changed. Case counts are declining. Also, the science has changed. Not only do we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag, but now we have Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police spying on members oh, of Congress. Oh, spying Are you ready to do this? Uh, uh, I'm ready to do this. 
What? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, Francesca. You came, you came on the at the exact right place and time to watch us for the first time. What's going on, the BBs? I'm Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the Habibi Bros. Welcome to another episode of the BB Power Hour. And we stand in solidarity with all the truckers out there. That's out for we're with truckers. you, you Canadian truckers, not not fuckers or anal fuckers, but Canadian truckers. We're here. We're we're here to do the honking with you in solidarity. Inshallah. Um, Giwa says, Siraj, how much did Adidas pay you to appear in their tweet? Apparently, I mean, literally, they could the just. the money, guys. Yeah, I don't do this for the money. We do it for nipple and breast awareness. There are many different nipples and breasts out there. Gotta, yeah. And they need they need to be shown. I mean, look at look at those majestic nipples. Daniel says, How much do I pay to get you guys to put your shirts on? Well 69 cents. Probably 69 cents, yeah. See what happens. Anyways, the BBs, what's going on? I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the BB Bros. Welcome to another episode of the BB Power Hour. Did I already say that already, Jay? Am I that boomer? Yes, yes, you did. But I think my nipples have have gotten you they, like they're distracting. They really are. I mean, I can't help it. I mean, did the Habibi see that tweet that Adidas did? Yeah. I, um, I wish we could show we it. Can't show it. <laughs> We can't no, show no, because no. we will get banned. So this is this is the Adidas tweet right here, and, yeah. and right here. I got here. the logo. You got the logo. I got the hat. We got the and nipples. Got, this is essentially what you're seeing from Adidas. This, this is, is tweet. exactly what they did. Yeah. Not Trying... as much hair, but still. Well, you never know. There are some hairy breasts out there. That's true. I mean, do have bitch tits out there. So, um, Jay, hold on one second. Let me get ready for it. That was obviously deliberate, was it not? The the nipples? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think so. And you know what's really amazing about it, too? What's How that? transphobic it was. I know, right? It was. All, I, I, I bet you there were there wasn't one trans person in there. They, I mean, except for you and me, of course. That's true. Okay, so maybe I take that back. Since they had us on 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 it, maybe they weren't that transphobic. But there wasn't one trans boobs on there, and I've been to Thailand. I can tell. That I mean, honestly, Jay, I have to take your word over everyone else's. So. Yeah, that's right. Complete, complete erasure of the trans community. How dare they? Women? Women. Yeah. They said women. women. Not person with cervixes or without cervixes. Not, you know, people people who produce milk. Not No, but they said women. Wow. Yeah, not, not pregnant people. Not people who can produce. Wait, did you say milk? Not people who could produce milk, literally women. And it is shameful. Looks like we're canceling Shame. Adidas. Looks like I'm no longer buying Adidas. Hey, right, Jay? I'm not buying Adidas anymore. Hell no. Nope, they're Hell done. No, I'm not buying Adidas. So, anyways, Jay. Why 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 is Adidas doing this to us? Sorry, I'm cold. My nipples are getting way too they they can cut ice right now. I mean, we did just come from Canada. That's true. That is true. So Oh no, I'm, I'm wearing gonna... my shirt inside out. 
This this was not intentional, people. I swear to God. With with Siraj not here to dress me, sometimes or undress you, right? Right. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my AirPods in. Hope, hopefully, get these working. Mm -hmm. uh, I can hear you just fine. Hear me, baby. I think. Ooh, so what are you drinking tonight, Jay? What what does it stand for? Isn't it like all day? I, I, dick, ass is. I'm drinking. It's called Bardstown Bourbon Company. It's some it's some bottle I saw in in Costco. I decided to try it. It's a blend of like three different Kentucky uh, whiskeys. Fifty percent, ninety-seven point nine percent proof. So, and Jay, I mean, I'm gonna he, try. I, I'm gonna try doing something I'll never do on the show. Tell me, wear a hat. Uh oh. This is the most Canadian hat I own. What is that? Oh my goodness. What but, what is that? What is that hat? What team is that? It's, it's not a team. It's like a Native it's, American, like Pacific Northwest. It's like a fish. Look at that fish. I know it's a fish. So why is it just yeah, like it. all day I dream about sex? Oh, I thought it said something to do with anal sex. It's a sea bass. Yep. I I think. I, I wouldn't know. The only... Like I know the only fish I know are barracuda and hamor fish when I go fishing. When I was in the UAE, we used to go in the Gulf Ocean, and those are the fishes that we uh we did. Welcome to Bait and Fish ha Happy Hour, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Good to just talk about fish. <laughs> Our favorite types of fish. Man. Yo, Twitter was lit today, man. Oh, it was. There was some wild shit going on today. Wild uh, shit. You you have you have Adidas posting literal tits on their social media platform and pinning it. We can't show you it because it's just that crazy. It would it and would then, definitely get us banned. It would totally. It had Dan's um, mom's nipples on there. It had uh, Bruce's mom's nipples on there. There was Steve's mom's nipples, Damien's mom's nipples. Ooh, Damien's. Like, they were all they were all um just exposed like so many different boobs sizes of boobs and all that kind of stuff none of well, them well, hold on hold on but 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 were any of them yellow yep what kind of yellow boobs are there the ones that <laughs> obviously NPR would take exception to <laughs> the racist ones the racist ones yeah, and PR tweeted out some white people may choose the yellow thumbs up emoji because it feels neutral, but some academics argue out of opting out of the white thumbs up emoji signals a lack of awareness about white privilege akin to society associating whiteness <laughs> with being raceless. Oh my God. I swear to God, these people, who are these academics? I don't know, but... Clearly, they need to be on the BB Power Hour. I think we could get them, Jay. If we were able to get Ben Shapiro and Glenn Greenwald onto this show, we can get these academics on onto the show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll just send them our like most professional clip and say this is what the show's about, and then when they come in. We asked them specifically how, what their method is for eating ass. Oh, of course, because we have to go. the 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 way we get them on is by showing this cold open, the anal fuckers cold open. Exactly. Who exactly. wouldn't want to come on with people who want to do some anal fucking? I don't understand. I, I know. I don't get and it. With that being said, of course, we need to give a shout out to our queen, 
Jen Rubin is our mm -hmm. con continuous reminder to join a VB Power Hour. We're begging you're, you. We're you're the best. You're we're the best of we're us. Getting on our knees, we will literally do anything. Jen, you're the best of us. Jen, Jen. Rubin. You are, I, we just want you on so we can just learn from you. No, we want you on so we can get you off. Yes. We want you to come on the show as Please. well as come on our hearts. And if you have time on our minds, preferably near the eyes. Um, Hobby says, when is Stelter coming on Habibi Power Hour? There's no way. You. There is no Hold way. on. Well, there is no way that he'd ever he'd ever say yes, but I could probably he and I follow each other on Twitter. I could probably at least put in that 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 you know uh, the request. <laughs> Fuck. I could put in that request. Man, I don't I don't know if I could handle myself. I don't know if I would be able to like the raging boner I would have if we had him on here, where I would just bitch slap the shit out of him every chance i got yeah jay i, I feel like i wouldn't having, be able to hold you it. know i feel like the only way we could agree to do an interview with him is it'd have to be in person yes and we would have to do it in person i'm just kidding no, he, he, can, no. he can bring whoever he wants or it's holy game women never do anything like that but no he has to drink for one and two he he's true he has to answer every single question he can't say i can't answer that no he has to answer them he has to answer. so so brian stelter what is it like to be a fat piece of shit uh yeah i mean he has to answer that there's no no way out of it. <laughs> And, and he has to like answer in the affirmative, like yes, no. I, I'm sorry, he can't say no. He has to say yes. This uh, man, what was the top breaking story today? We're getting crack pipes from the Biden administration. Hallelujah! Oh wait, they we we are. They said we were. They said we were in 2020 and 2020. But Snope said it's mostly false. Why is that? Oh, dude, I, uh, in our group, in our group, I gave you a screenshot. Go to that screenshot. Uh, on the group, the group chat. Yeah. yeah. On, um, the one you, oh, what, hold on, Jay, you have, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? I know it's like, so, go to the group uh, chat, uh, which one we're on 69 group chats. Together. <laughs> Literally. We really, really are. All right. I'm just going to text it to you. It better not be the Adidas tits pick again. That would be hilarious. No, no, no. It's it's honestly the their rating and their reasoning why they said it was it was. Oh, was that false. was that a Snopes article that came out today? Yeah, it came out today. So let's go and and look through it right now, shall we? No, go to it. It's amazing. The, but they've been updated for You'll find out here in a little bit why they updated it. Okay, so I know I hear Echo is because Spencer has his fucking mic on. There you go. I was hearing I was hearing typing in the background. Oh, Fine, you? Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You're just hearing it's him back go on. on. <laughs> You're just hearing him go to hentai. That is it. Yeah. Okay. So this Snopes article says that Biden admin fund crack pipes to advance racial equity. News reports in February 2022 grossly misinterpreted the facts about a federal harm reduction program. <laughs> and now it says outdated. <laughs> no, the reason why it was outdated, that's why I want you to do the screenshot because the, oh, since, okay. then, All right. since then, the White House reversed, oh, literally reversed okay. it, saying that it's only going to be syringes and not going okay. to have uh, crack pipes without denying the original uh, uh, verbiage in the bill 
stating that they were going to have things like crack pipes and syringes and all that kind of shit. So if you go to the screenshot that I, I texted you, this is yeah, this is the original. Is. So in the beginning, oh. it says. Yeah, no, go ahead. Read it. No, I was going to say in the beginning, it says in early 2022, the Biden administration uh, in endeavored to advance racial equity by distributing crack, uh, crack pipes to drug users. What's true in 2022, a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Substance Abuse Harm Reduction Grant did require receptions to, uh, to provide <laughs> safer smoking kits to existing drug users. Basically, crack pipes. So it's like what is true is exactly what they're trying to say is false. Because their state, we're, people said they are going to distribute crack pipes. It doesn't matter what the fuck else is in the, in the bill. Like they're trying to say what's false here is that this was just one of around 20 components. Okay. So it's still fucking true. When you're saying what's false, you're saying what's true is true. And what's false is also true. This is the literally gaslighting us every single day. It's insane. Like, how are you supposed to ever have trust into these fact checkers when they're lying to you right in your face. It's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. The first sentence on what's false is saying that it's true. Okay. So let's see what they changed. And this is the updated article. And it says, rating outdated. After a wave of grossly misleading news coverage in February 2022, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services stipulated that federal funding would not be used to include pipes in safe smoking kits as part of a substance abuse harm reduction grant program. This newly stipulated detail was not originally available, meaning the assertions made in the first wave of coverage had become outdated. That's basically saying we were the, the claim was true and then they backed down because the of backlash. US, yeah, because of backlash, because they were I mean, just look at the poll numbers. Biden's poll numbers dropped to 40% for the first time in his presidency. He's been in president for now 13 months and or just a little under 13 months. And things have gotten so bad that they're now calling the pandemic basically over. That's how bad things have gotten. Yeah. Yeah. There's a full Leanna, reversal. The, there, we have Leanna Wen going on CNN saying that she approves of the Biden administration. And again, Leanna Wen, who is a former Baltimore health commissioner, first off, and former president of Planned Parenthood, so mind you where she's coming from, has been saying time and time again, almost as big of a almost as big of a uh, flip-flopper as Fauci. Uh, she just doesn't hold any public positions anymore. She's basically just a, a pundit at this point. She's mo among one of the worst pundits out there, particularly on, on the issue of public health. And, you know, you know, a type of, you know, how we talked about the, the crack pipes just now, Jay, right. you, know, you know, where that, you know, where that also came from that particular program, Baltimore, they practiced that shit in Baltimore. Oh shit. And Leanna Wen is the Baltimore Health City Commissioner, if you could believe it. Uh, Any of that. I can, especially because of how I mean, yeah, you can it's still, I mean, Baltimore's still worse off as Baltimore. And I like how they were saying that due to outrage from the right. I don't think it was just the right that were saying, hey, hold up. Why are we paying for this type of shit? It's just insane yeah. to me that there's not more people that are like centrists are like on the left that look at this stuff and not go, wait a minute. This just looks so fucking stupid. How fucking stupid can we be? Well, yeah. it's, and, it's, it, I mean, like, but the thing is we're in the middle, we're in the quote unquote middle of a pandemic. Everybody's supposedly worried about, you know, public health and staying safe and, you know, not, not engaging in acts of, of harming each other and self harm. And then, in the same fucking like other side of their mouth they're talking about funding drug kits and 
crack pipes to drug users. What happened to just like getting them the help that they they need? Sure, they may not. They may probably not re- recognize that they have addiction. There are tons of them, tons of people, who will be in denial about having addiction. Why would you just? Why would you just like let them continue that path of self destruction? Like it's it's sort of like a microcosm for this administration and America as a whole. And and I, I would actually argue leftism as a result in many ways because they want to reward people for bad behaviors and just let them keep going down the path of self destruction whether it harms themselves or anyone else their loved ones family you know friends complete strangers as long as they get their their power their votes across the the finish line and they their agenda gets passed so that's basically where we are as a as a country that right. and also having racist emojis <laughs> right that are just yellow i mean it is it is the thought that they have that this, this these disenfranchised people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay, 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 hold on. On Rumble, Ball Shack says titties out for truckers. Where are the tits? Uh oh. There we go. I mean, he he missed he missed the beginning of it. He missed but the beginning. Well, we'll do the rest of the tits, show. Like ball sacks. I'll yeah, give you, tits. you get it. We'll give you tits. Thank you. If you if if you're upset about this on uh, any other platform, I just want to say. Cox out. Mad at Ball Shack. Cox yeah, out. Oh, yeah. Cox out for yeah, Canada. Cox out. Okay. Cox out for Canada. There we go. I I pulled it out, but it's so small the banner covered it. So yeah, I mean it, the the mic covered mine. Right. So we got I know, my I, mic. My mic's out like, of view. Yeah, I know, you right? <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> the air follicles covered it. Um, now it's it's uh, if you've ever read. Uh, there's a book. Um, I forget his name. Shit. God, it's about San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco. It's called San Fr- San Francisco. Uh, his name. Oh is Michael, yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. I've heard Michael. Of that. Michael something. I forget his. I forget his last name. But he he really dives into this uh, in a very detailed way on how the the liberals and the very very left think about this issue. Is thinking about these people as really disenfranchised and victims. And you can't expect victims to have to actually work for anything or victims to actually have to do anything to better themselves. You have it's to provide Michael all that kind of stuff. Yes, Michael yeah. Schellenberger. And he and he brings really good examples because he's he's done really good um, uh, like reports and stuff on places like Portugal on how they mm-hmm. uh, how they do it. There's like a reward system where you have to put in the work in order to get rewarded and move up and getting, uh, getting healthy and getting and being, uh, feeling better and all that kind of stuff. We don't have that here. We don't have it in places like Baltimore or San Francisco. We have it where they're actually stealing your money to pay for substance that is going to actually kill people that are out there. And that's why I always say taxes to the government is the most immoral thing you can do because they take that money and they fuck people's lives over. Either it's droning our uncles in Afghanistan or fucking, mm-hmm. uh, fucking uh, people over that live in Baltimore or San Francisco or anything like that. Or New York. Paying taxes is an immoral, immoral kill, act. They kill, kill grandma, kill grandma and grandpa in New York. Uh, I well, they didn't. My grandpa was in in Lebanon when they droned him, not New York. Oh no, I'm just talking about grandmas and grandpas in general. Oh, going to the in New York. Yes, and nursing homes. Stacy Minnis says, why is he wearing a ski hat? What the F is going on? Adidas, Stacy. Nipples. Because it is, all right, in solidarity. With Canadians. With Canadians, exactly. This is how we show solidarity for uh, for Canadians, with our nipples. Yeah. So I hope Spencer will pull these up, these uh, tweets about uh, New York and Los Angeles. As we are in the midst of a confusing week in which the president of the United States administration is trying to uh, give crack pipes to the drug users. We got 
both in Los Angeles County, the public health chief is saying that the local indoor COVID-19 mask mandates will remain in place for the time being, despite California's decision to lift its own statewide mask requirement next week for most indoor public spaces. It's like, Jay, they're addicted to fear. They're addicted they to are. fear. But it also, it gets, it gets even better because look at what's happening in New York. In New York, you have Kathy Hochul, the governor, uh, the the newly interim. promoted governor, the interim governor of New York, announcing that New York will lift a statewide mask mandate for businesses and other indoor spaces beginning Thursday. But a similar masking requirement will, ma- will remain in place in K through 12 schools for at least another couple of weeks. So, Jay, help me make sense out of all of this. None of it makes sense. Yeah. And it, that, no, 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 no. Help, 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 help me make sense out of this real quick. Okay. They're lifting statewide mask mandates for mm-hmm. everyone except for children going through K through 12 school. It's almost like, yeah, they fucking hate kids. Um, well, the thing is, is that they want to make them weak and impressionable so they can go to uh, pizza parties. Ah, that makes sense. That's that's where that's going. They're making them. They're beating them down socially, and they're making sure that they have so, no friends. They don't know how to act socially, so well, they'll sweep them up and deliver them in pizza boxes. That makes sense, but also because when you dumb down the population, they don't have an ability to think for themselves, and therefore they'll continue to vote the way that the the left and Democrats tell them because they dominate the culture. Exactly. And th- and yeah. by dominate the, c- the culture, they just make you fucking stupid as shit that you believe that that's the culture you need to follow. There's yeah. no, I mean, how else are you going to explain that the least vulnerable of this has mm-hmm. to stay masked, but the most vulnerable doesn't? And being like older yeah. people and stuff, none of it makes sense. The very beginning of masking never made any sense. The very beginning yeah. of all of these restrictions never, never made any, any sense. And you have people trying to justify, oh, you can't compare it now to March of 2020. Well, why can't we compare it to fucking August of 2021, you piece of shit? And the person I'm talking yeah. about is David French, you fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say... um. There was a article written, I think, in the Atlantic, or something like that. Um, and oh well, let, hold on, pull that back up, pull that back up, Spencer. I, mean, I can, I can take this off now while we read. I'll get my my Adidas sponsored hat on, in solidarity with Antites. Well, Soliton. Tweets out this quote says, just because normality now is a justifiable position in February 2022 doesn't mean it was a justifiable position in March through April 2020 when there were no vaccines, no treatments, very little knowledge of how to help the sick, and when case fatality rates were frightening. And David French responds, exactly. Why is that already in February 10th, 2022? Where the f- Jay? It's still February 9th. How is how are you getting tweets from the future? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to that. Pull that back up, Spencer. I want people to see this. It is currently February 9th. On the East Coast, it is 934. And zoom in there. Jay is getting tweets from February 10th tomorrow. What the hell is going on, Jay? I know, right? Like I'm. Uh, that's how. That's that's how I got my Twitter game. I stepped it up. That's why I can't do any fucking scheduled tweets either. Every time I do a, a scheduled tweet or some shit like that, I completely misgauge the time because it does it in the future when I'm trying to get it done in the past. Jay, I, hold on. Okay, Spencer. Who's the Super Bowl? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Because you see, I'm trying to bet a lot of money on it and totally win if you're going to be a day ahead so right who's gonna win and i it's gonna be the rams disturb okay spencer zoom in on real quick 
I have a theory. What? Where did Jay go? There he is. Oof. I lost you, buddy. I think Jay's an Israeli plant. How else were you supposed? How else were you going to get Batya on the show? There's no other explanation. There, there isn't. There really isn't. And Seth Mandel hates it. He hates it with a passion. He really does. So yes, uh, Jay is an Israeli plant, despite saying he's from Lebanon. Do not believe a word he says. He's Mossad. Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah, Habibis, I am sad. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Susanna, what's up? Susanna says, yo, what did I just walk in on? It's 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 the the name of the episode is in the title, Susanna. It's Tits, tits Out tits for out. Canada, for Canadian truckers. For, tr for Canadian this truckers, is we are... We're supporting Canadian truckers the best way we know how. Yeah. Literally nipples. taking off our shirts and exposing our nipples to the cold Canadian air. So maybe drawing our names in the ice with our nips. There are nice sharp nips. But nice to go back nips. to go back to these arguments that these people are trying to make to justify their complete fucking flip flop is that we knew we knew all of the all of the science that we have now, all of the facts, all of these things, everything that has come out in 2021, even, even in the beginning of 2021, in like March and April, we knew these things. We knew that lockdowns didn't work. We had the studies from John Hopkins uh, univer uh, University stating how it was doing much more harm to society than good. And come out 2021, how many people died of overdoses? Uh, of overdoses in 2020 or 2021? between between 18 and 35. Uh, a are shit you looking ton. For raw numbers? No, oh. no, it's a fucking <laughs> shit ton. It's it's a lot more than they have died from COVID and stuff. And I think the biggest contributor for it is because you're locking them down. They can't go to work. They can't go. Right. Uh, they couldn't go to their uh, you know outings, sporting events. All of this stuff was completely restricted and closed down. And these people want to come out and, the, and pretend like they weren't the champions of this shit because they were scared. They were scared shitless. If you're scared shitless, stay home. Don't force that type of shit on everyone else. And that's the uh, problem. That is. And Jin Zaki, she was out just, just a little bit ago um, when she when they were talking about masking and masking for kids. They're like, well, a lot of people want to keep masking for kids, so the mandates should stay. Make it a fucking choice because there's a lot of people who don't. What kind of fucking argument is that? There's a shit ton of uh, parents and, and uh, researchers and all of this stuff saying that masking children is – wrong so right. why aren't we why are we siding with them why are we siding with these other fucks because you're a bitch for the teachers unions that's that's what it is not you jinzaki you're a bitch Josh for these Finn. tits yeah, you are a bitch for these tits just like tom nichols can we uh, can we at least try to get quality over quantity I see what you oh. did there that's good i like I it see what you did there i like it this um, is for canada people this is for Canada. We're they're standing in solidarity with the Canadian truckers. Leanna Wen, that doctor we just were talking about, she went on CNN because I think she's a CNN contributor. Yeah, Basically, she is. yeah. Uh, at this at this juncture, I'm going to show you a clip that will probably make you throw your phone or laptop at uh, the wall or out the window. And basically, this is an Anderson Cooper tweet. The science has changed. Dr. Leanna Wen explains why she supports lifting some pandemic restrictions and thinks the decision to wear a mask should shift from a government mandate to an individual choice. I'll just show you the Do you agree with the move? I do. There was a and is a time and place for pandemic restrictions, but when they were put in, it was always with the understanding that they would be removed as soon as we can. And in this case, circumstances have changed. Case counts are declining. Also, the science has changed. We know that vaccines protect very well against Omicron, which is the dominant variant. Everyone five and older have widespread access to vaccines. And we also know about one-way masking, the idea that even if other people are around, 
around you are not wearing masks. If you wear a high quality mask, that also protects you, the wearer, too. And Jay, I just want to point out that Leanna Wen is full of shit. Oh, absolutely. And they have been from the very beginning. When they're talking about this. Oh, yes. 100%. It's also troubling because everything they're saying now, they're like, oh, yeah, we always knew that was the case. Yeah, pull that's up this, how they're saying pull up it this, now. Pull up that super chat. Pull up that super chat. Aesop369, thank you for the super chat. Says the New York Times article about New Jersey gave it away. It was, a, it was about apocalyptically focused group responses. Ultimately, Jay, what the science has not changed. I don't give a shit what you say. The science has not changed. The science has remained the same. What has changed is the political climate. The political climate has changed. Biden's poll numbers are down to 40%, according to Real Clear Politics Average. And Democrats right now face a steep, gigantic climb ahead of the 2022 midterms. Fears of losing both the House and Senate, which very much can happen, could happen. And in all honesty, the way with the way things are going, the Biden administration wants to convince you that he helped shut down the virus, that he crushed COVID when he and the rest of his administration didn't do shit. Yeah. What shit. did they do, Jay? What did they do? This is what they did. They had piss poor messaging. They threatened to lay off hundreds of thousands to millions of workers not only in the federal workforce but also in the private sector over vaccine mandates basically scaring our, its own citizens under coercion or duress basically threatening to upend their livelihoods more than they already have to try to get them to take a vaccine that many people just didn't want to take because of the experimental nature of it right and then they're like, well, Omicron basically got everybody. No one died, or at least hardly anybody died. No, I don't no, actually, no. no. I actually don't yeah, think I, I know. I, I, more, more people have, have been, well, to be fair, to be fair about all of this type of stuff, when, they're, when yeah. they change, because they're already talking about changing the from COVID or with COVID dictation when it comes to counting deaths and when it comes to hospitalization, when it comes to people coming into the hospital, because before you could have literally, you could have fallen out of, uh, out of a wind, a seven story window died. But if you had COVID, they'll say died with COVID or died from COVID and counted as a, as a COVID death. And they're still doing yeah. that till now, but now they're in talks of changing it. They're going from right. yeah. with COVID or from COVID. And it's amazing how we are we are seeing this shift in narrative change when they demonize the shit out of Trump or anyone else who wanted to talk about it in this manner, who wanted to say, right. like, let's be like completely honest about it and say, if you die from a car crash with COVID, you're not dying from COVID. You're with COVID, but you didn't die from COVID. Right. And they and were counting it like that. And now that we're we're having more testing, more counting, all that kind of stuff. He's he's actually there's more deaths with COVID under uh, under Biden than there are with Trump. So he didn't right. shut down shit. He didn't shut down. Right. He didn't shut down shit. shit. All he did was basically shut down the restrictions when it became politically convenient for him because and and the rest of his party because he does not give a shit about you. He does not give a shit about anybody except himself and holding on to power. Yep. So it's who Joe, that's who Joe Biden has always been. People, you know, this whole idea of him being Uncle Joe, that was like a, that was a marketing campaign, Jay. It wasn't like, oh, he was all of a sudden a likable guy when he was vice president. What did Barack Obama say when he was president? About Joe, he's like, never underestimate Joe's ability to fuck things up. That's what he said. Because Joe Biden is 
like people really don't give enough credit to how shitty of a person he was over the course of his political career right he rubbed elbows with segregationists he wrote the 1994 crime bill he opposed and pretty much waged the modern day lynching against the first uh conservative black judge nominated to the supreme court in clarence thomas and then you had him opposing in 2003 it would have been what the first uh conservative black woman to be nominated to the federal bench under George yep. W. Bush. He voted against he her. It. He blocked it. And then he then he comes in as president and says, I I, I pledge to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court if there's a vacancy. He literally had the power to do so in 2003. And he it was like pulling teeth in the early 90s with Clarence Thomas. I just don't know where he gets the fucking balls to do this. Well, he gets them because you have fucking losers and complete pussies in the media that don't call him out on this shit. You don't. You don't mm -hmm. have it. You have... We're on day 15 of Brian Stelter reporting on Joe Rogan while all of this failing, these flip flopping messaging in the media and all of this type of stuff has been happening over COVID and how bad the Biden administration has been doing. It's like, why are we? It's so obvious where they're coming from when they're doing this type of shit. I mean, Maggie had a tweet today as well talking about how um, Stacey Abrams is like, oh, I can't believe this is this is still a story. Of her not max masking while all of these children are masking around her and shit, and it's like, can you can you be any less fucking obvious when you're doing yeah. this type of shit? It's 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 just so insane to me. And even if she's just like, I don't know, like to me, all of these people just it just shows them for exactly what they are, especially people in the media. And we had a great session with uh, 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 Batia. I call yeah. her Beta. Beta means her house in <laughs> Arabic, because really? I always and also, say Beta. And Beta, Beta in Urdu means child. Oh, does it really? Holy yeah. shit! So <laughs> I always say Beta, and um, uh, when when trying to read her name. But we had a great conversation uh, yesterday uh, on the Patreon about the media and the way they either are totally to the left and protecting people on the left, or they're just a complete. It's a complete classist type issue because who listens to Joe Rogan compared to the people who listen to CNN, who listens to CNN, except for like fucking Hollywood, Hollywood, Bel Air execs or people who live in uptown Manhattan in New York and all this right. fucking bullshit type places that are a very minute population of what is really happening with the government. And then you have a lot of people from all walks of life and especially like working class people that listen to Joe Rogan and they hate it. They fucking yeah. hate it because in all honesty, and it's something that uh, I think uh, comfortably, uh, comfortably smug says a lot is they fucking hate you. They do. They hate you. Yeah. And I think what's interesting about this whole saga over Joe Rogan is that, you know how we, talked about earlier how they specifically they on the left don't want you to think they want to completely eliminate any chance you have of using critical thinking skills for any reason whatsoever because if you ever come to your own conclusions about anything <laughs> come <laughs> come then they r run the risk of their power being undermined because anybody with two brain cells could see what's going on and understand how that shit crazy everything is and it's largely the making of the federal government and honestly i, I you know you start to get black pilled a bit and what this I know I'm kind of going off a tangent here, but to getting back to Joe Rogan, 
that effort right there is they want, you know, Joe Rogan, the way that they've been trying to take him out, it does seem coordinated. I know we're wearing tinfoil hats. I know we're not wearing shirts right now or pants or boxers, but we're wearing hats, so we're technically clothed right now. What I have to say, though, is that they specifically want to make it so that anyone who gets enough power and ask people questions that go against the narrative or even broadcast to an audience that goes with something that could be seen as antithetical to what, say, the powers that be are telling you. That, again, undermines their power, undermines their influence. And those people who are who are instigating that, like Joe Rogan, need to be destroyed. So what are they going to do? The first going to say, oh. Joe Rogan's a racist. What did they do before? What did they do right the, before that, Jay? What did they? What did misinformation. They try to... It was all about misinformation. And yeah. the funny thing is, is like a lot of the stuff he was saying before, they're flip flopping now and saying right. they really are. Yeah, that Lynn chick that you had on there is one of the biggest proponents on misinformation when it came to all of these things. We had yeah. no, no proven fact, no proven anything, nothing about like the the efforts of masking kids is going to save hundreds of thousands of lives. None of that. But what we did have and what we factually had was how how um, kids, especially K through 12 and, and, you know, high school, mid school, all of it. They need these social cues. They need to see these fa facial expressions in order to learn better, to be more sociable, all of this kind of stuff. We are creating a huge antisocial anxiety filled fucking generation of kids i mean we already fucked them up before with gin uh, right. gin uh why ruben i mean just imagine what's going to happen now with the next one they're so wait. fucked wait gen Y, not gen ruben when is generation ruben coming about when is she coming on well when she comes on her show because that's when she comes show. and gets us pregnant that's mm. generation ruben right over there <laughs> <laughs> inshallah oh my god my I gotta make a new tinfoil has falling apart. Asa369, thank you for the super chat. Says Biden spent decades accusing the truck driver who was in the accident that killed his wife of being drunk when he was not at fault at all. Damn. Oh shit, I didn't know that. I had no idea about that. I didn't but know. And again, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised with Joe Biden. It is it's it's a little much. Nate Beebe says our Habibi, Siraj, and Jay are currently in their Alex Jones phase. Which part being shirtless or wearing a tinfoil hat or both? All of the above. All of the above. LB is back. LB is back in the house. LB. I don't know if Spencer knows who that is. It's because LB hasn't been in the chat for so long that mm -hmm. Spencer it, it predates Spencer's employment with us, which means Jay, Spencer's fucking fired. He's got to go. Sorry, yeah. LB is, is on this here. This is LB. This is go. LB. This is LB. So she 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 came in here basically saying, <laughs> where is it? Where is it, Jay? It was around here. Around uh -huh. here somewhere. Oh, um, it's a little bit further up. Just saying like, a little bit oh, my up. God. I'm looking for it. There we go. This was her first. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, LB. So I glad know you've you. been missing. Welcome. Welcome to the party, pal. Sorry okay. that we had to, you know, bring that Adidas energy to you. What's up? What's up, Spencer? I've seen you in chat before. I've seen LB in chat yeah. before. Also, great promo. Yeah, that great, was great character. But no, she's been in chat before. I've been here. Okay, well, Spencer, <laughs> Spencer wasn't here. He was I love clearly you, Spencer, that you're he was fired. clearly under his pops. I mean, just look at his look at his face. Right. Um. But yeah, Joe Rogan, we talked about him last week. This oh, past sorry. week, they tried to basically, they dropped the, you know, Midas Touch that, you know, the Patriots takes, which is part of Midas Touch, which is part of like a Democratic super PAC, definitely took to, they, they took to Twitter and posted a video that had existed for some time, uh, a cut up of Joe Rogan using, using the N-word on his show in the context of quoting other people he was quoting other people and he said the full m word with the hard r jay we, you and i never would do that because obviously 
we live in the age of the internet. Well, first of all, we don't say that word in general, but we also would never say that in today's media landscape because we know anything you could say will be taken out of context. I mean, look how many times I said, hold on, Jay, look how many times I said sucking dick is cool. And that clip specifically was extracted by the Habibis like that Brooklyn dad lived, Damien Toll. And then he just posted on Twitter of Siraj saying sucking dick is cool. So it is. Yeah. But also, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I grew up like just full disclaimer. I grew up in the Middle East. I grew up, I moved over there when I was about 18 years old. I was in the UAE. Man, we use that word like it was nothing like it was like it meant zero we were we were saying it to each other like black people arabs african arabs everybody was saying it to each other like it didn't mean it's like ah inward 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 in everyone's faces and then i came back over here and i went to oklahoma like i came back here and i went to oklahoma about 10 10 years ago 12 years ago something like that Mm -hmm. and uh we were sitting we're talking and we we're talking about it, and then we're like, "You do not say it here. Don't say it here." I was like, "But we were saying it like nothing over there. Why? What's going on over here?" And then you know they told me why I couldn't say it. I still called. No, I didn't call them it. I'm just playing. But you know they educated me on reasons why you don't say it here. But uh, he had a he had a response in I think the Hollywood Reporter uh, where he was apologizing apologizing about it and. Honestly, I think it's really time to move on, especially because you have the same people say we need to move on and accept Whoopi Goldberg's uh, apology while not saying it here. And when and the person I'm talking about is David fucking French, you fucking coward. I think he still hasn't said <laughs> shit about this, but he was quick. Five minutes, he was talking about Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Goldberg's fake ass apology, but over here he doesn't say shit, not nothing. What the fuck? You are a coward, David French. A fucking I, coward. I find this, yeah, I find this obsession to be quite something, Jay. Uh, my I, on, I have, on David French. I've never seen anyone hate David French as much as you do. Well, because the thing is, is like I find him to be a like completely fake, and all of these conservatives and stuff, they really like to see him as some principled person but he's not he's just a grifter like everyone else is everyone else in in that sphere in those uh in uh they they're looking out to make money they're looking out to grift they're looking out to do all this and the biggest thing that showed me that he was a coward was um the uh Kyle Rittenhouse issues mm. the whole yeah. Kyle, like he was making Kyle Rittenhouse out to be like completely the bad guy on all of it and all of this stuff. He shouldn't be there, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know what? This is the United States of America. I can be wherever the fuck I want with whatever the fuck I want. I can be there. And if I'm going to have to defend myself, I'm going to have to defend myself. But they wanted to, he wanted to side with the left and accuse Kyle Rittenhouse of being there solely to cause trouble when that wasn't the case whatsoever. And he wants to pretend like he can, he can go into somebody's heart and accuse them of shit like he did with Roseanne, like he did with all these other people and like he did with Kyle Rittenhouse. But when you're trying to do it over on somebody on the left, he's like, oh, mm. in Christianity, a blah, blah, blah. It's like suck Jesus's dick on your own time, you piece of garbage. <laughs> and now we're canceled from basically every single platform as that clip has been cut. <laughs> And Sorry. posted. When I when I go on to a, a David Jay. French rant, I go on like fuck. Okay, yeah, Jay's basically been muted from from the show for the entirety, the rest of it. Um, no, I was hoping to get into a little bit more of the Joe Rogan thing because in the midst of this whole debate, you now have people who specifically try to, you know. Joe Rogan, it seems like he's a decent person, okay? It's when you when you listen to him, you don't really get the sense that he's like this evil menacing guy who's trying to take over the world. Dude's just asking questions. He's a human like everyone else. 
he knows when he fucks up and he he apologizes when he thinks he's fucked up mm -hmm. that is a virtue i think that we should all uh, ascribe to something that we should all try to live up to is when we when we mess up we should acknowledge it and apologize for it when we can so that brings me to trevor noah the host of the daily show i have oh, yeah. this, this particular so clip right here from uh basically daily show host trevor noah puts on this rant and this tweet says when joe rogan says i wasn't being racist i was just being entertaining trevor noah responds no joe i think you were using racism to try to be entertaining and that's trevor unpacking rogan's n-word and planet of the apes apologies now if you remember when trevor noah was named the host of the daily show back in 2015 a lot of his old tweets were uncovered and he deleted a lot of them and a lot of them were very offensive towards basically everyone the first one is september 18th 2009 trevor noah tweeted almost bumped a jewish kid crossing the road he didn't look before crossing but i still would have felt so bad in my german car in january 2012 Trevor Noah tweets, Messi gets the ball and the real players try to foul him, but Messi doesn't go down easy, just like Jewish chicks. That's that, that's just a little taste of it, okay? And then, I mean, you get the idea. He, he's, he's making fun of women. He's making fun of Jews. And then he tweets out, to reduce my views to a handful of jokes that didn't land is not a true reflection of my character, nor my evolution as a comedian. That is right before... He actually takes uh, it's actually after it was announced and he was getting a lot of backlash, mm -hmm. which is pretty rich considering how right after all of that, in response to that particular tweet, Joe Rogan responds saying too much for 140 characters, but nothing he said was out of line. And he's a funny dude. Fuck the haters, Noah. This is Joe Rogan tweeting in defense of Trevor Noah back in March 2015. And look how Trevor Noah just stabs him right in the fucking back over that. Can you Couldn't. believe what a fucking snake Trevor Noah is? I can. Uh, and and it's amazing because he he stabbed himself in the back too. Trevor Noah with completely disregarding his own uh, his own tweet and his own justification saying like, you know what? People mature, people blah, blah, blah. People, you know, evolve. And these were at the exact same times that um, Joe Rogan was, you know, using the N-word, making those jokes and all that kind of stuff. And he didn't give him the same benefit of the doubt whatsoever. But yeah. Joe Rogan really showed, I mean, he he hasn't come out and, and you know, bag, uh, come against all of these people who, who turned his, their backs come. on him. Huh, come. He hasn't done any of that. He's... And I think he, they're going to write it out, but you're still going to have people like Brian Stelter who are going to want to, you know, use this as a dis distraction on everything that's really important that's going on in the world right now. Like there's legitimate, I mean, there's a reason why Biden's at 39% and it's not Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's not the reason. Joe Rogan's not the reason why families can't feed themselves. Joe Rogan's not the reason why the, the working class is getting fucked by all of these restrictions getting fucked by uh government uh uh restrictions and all that kind of stuff and joe rogan is not the reason why kids are suffering right now it's all on biden and it's yeah. all on this administration and everything but they don't want to report on it so they use but, you know, thank i mean thanks to the truckers in canada we realize i think canadians are finally realizing like they're not alone in all of this they understand that their own government is doing this to them because what you've seen in response to the truckers is you have Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accusing the truckers of basically shutting down the country and shutting down the economy. Just watch this shit. You didn't share audio. Lib. What? You didn't share you, audio. You didn't click the box. You boomer. I didn't click the Lib. box. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Lib, more like boomer. Okay. Boomer Lib. Right. I mean, boomer, boomer, Lib. boomer Lib. 
Okay, I just tried switching the tab. That's why I was trying a new feature. I'm sorry. Here it is. Individuals are trying to blockade our economy, our democracy, and our fellow citizens' daily lives. It has to stop. Individuals? Jay, can you can you get a look? Here, hold on, hold on one second. Can you get a load of that? <laughs> I got it. I got the load. Good. I'm glad you did. I look, Jay, they he is gaslighting every single person in Canada who values freedom, values liberty, and putting the onus on them. First, he tried to accuse them of being racist. Now he's saying that they're basically a threat to democracy. Jay, they're a threat to democracy. They are January 6th insurrectionists. They are white supremacist, Nazi, KKK member uh, Canucks. And it's not going to... I had to throw on the Canucks. Canucks. These things are not going to work anymore. These type of, this type of language, this type of um, verbiage and narrative and all this kind of stuff, it's not going to work anymore. Because these same people, especially Trudeau, they were praising the riots that were happening in, I yep. think it was 2020. And the yep. riots like burned shit down. Truckers didn't do any of that stuff. Truckers are just sitting there. They're just doing their democratic uh, right of protesting. That's what they're doing. And the riots were considered peaceful and righteous. And you even had these fucking uh, expert uh, health officials saying like, oh, if you gather up in a riot, it's fine because racism is a real issue. These fucking people. No, it's not, no, not, not racism is a real issue. Racism is a public health crisis. Crisis. And like, it's crisis. good to get, yes, you need to go and twerk on top of each other in the, on the streets of Chicago. Uh, yeah, you, you need it. Yeah, show us. Yeah. Twerk, twerk it. Twerk, twerk it. You got to twerk it on top of each other and you got to go break into to people's fucking businesses. You got to burn them down and steal their shit and ruin their livelihoods because that's totally fine. And, but you have to be masked in school. You can't go to school. You have to be masked. You can't go to work. You can't go eat at a restaurant. Like all of this stuff, Jay, you can't even eat ass. Okay. No, I still do. And that's the one but, cure. That's the one cure. That's why, the that's why I got over COVID so quick because <laughs> I eat ass. Like, <laughs> holy shit. It was like three days. I mean, fuck all of this other shit. Ivermectin and all this type of shit. No, 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 no. You eat ass and you're good. Um, yeah. But it just, it's really insane because these, these leftists are like, Power to the working class. Power to you. You are the means yeah. of production. You are all this type of stuff. But then now they're like, oh, not you workers, because yeah. you're going against like uh, the rich uh, liberals who want to close everything down and shit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you have it's, socialists it's, all the time. Yeah, socialists all the time say workers of the world unite, and the workers of the world are united. They're like, no, not like that. No, <laughs> please. No, not no, like that. No. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. no, don't. Yeah, so that's basically where we're heading. It's insane. It's amazing. It's amazing. Also, and and people also, hold and, on. Trudeau. Did you see that Trudeau is wishing everyone a happy Black History Month? <laughs> why is, why is a black man wishing all of us a, ha a, black, a happy Black History Month. Why would he do that to us? As he was going ahead, fucking at first into fucking shoe polish. This oh is a good God. bourbon. Sorry, I'm I, not gonna lie. I cut this you off. I didn't mean to cut you off, Abibi. Mm -mm. You're fine, but honestly, this is a good one. Oh shucks, you guys didn't have to do an episode on my birthday. Thanks. Could have done without your added S impression, Professor Buffer. Habibi, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday Professor, Professor Happy birthday, birthday to you. Lovely.
That's lovely. Um, I think now's a good time. Sixty nine minutes in, I have to put my shirt on to go outside. I gotta go get earned. Uh, get earned. <laughs> we gotta get him. You gotta get earned. While he goes, he gets earned. You guys get all of me. So, any questions? Any comments? Jan style, you and me both, baby. You can't see it because uh, T Pro, the bourbon, it's called Bur uh, Bardstown. It's a bourbon I found in uh, at Costco. It's a fusion uh, bourbon, but it's all uh, Kentucky bourbons that are blended together. Uh, and it's uh, 50%, 97.9% proof or 97.9 proof. And honestly, it's pretty smooth. I've been drinking it straight. I mean, the first glass I had was with uh, with ice and the rest of them, not with ice. Here he is. I'm blurry as shit, but we're going to do something. Take the blur off. It, it's still, it got go. worse. You're like, we're going to take it, it off. It got worse. There we, go. <laughs> there we go. There he is, Mr. Hey, Earn. Hi, buddy. How you doing? This is Ernie. For those of you who are new to the stream or have never watched our show, this is our president. This is the rightful president, by the way. The rightful president, the king, and the caliphate. The king. Yeah. So uh, Carolina Kurt Court saying, Jay, how does it feel having your mom constantly kick your ass on Wordle? First of all, she's not because we're pretty much tied. And secondly, I'm blocking my mom. <laughs> As you should. Absolutely. As right. I don't know why As she's still right. on. The, she's still on our Discord server. And honestly, that shouldn't happen. All she's doing is embarrassing you in, your fr in front of your friends. Absolutely. Like, there's so much. She's, she posted so many pictures of me as a kid and stuff that I didn't even know we had. Like, yeah. holy shit. Uh, she also posted this on your birthday. It's because my birthday is on Jan 6. So good. <laughs> it's so good. Mary, how did you do that? I want to know your secret. I know, right? Like she's the biggest boomer of all, and I have no idea uh, how she was able to edit that. That was absolutely priceless. So good. So amazing. So good. Um now is our favorite time. Our favorite time of the show, and that is ask us anything. So go ahead, ask us anything on your mind. Spencer, where the fuck is my banner? Ask us anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're fired. Oh, okay, shit. so on Rumble, on YouTube, on Twitch, go ahead and shoot us your questions. We are here to, to take them. In the meantime, Jay, we we got a pretty big, pretty big week ahead of us. You like yes. so. If you had, if you're part of the Patreon, the uh, that's our Patreon, the Vivi Rose uh, Patreon. Uh, you go to our website, patreon.com forward slash the Vivi Rose to sign up. Spencer, where the fuck is my banner? <laughs> <laughs> the, the Patreon. Banner. The Patreon. The Patreon. Thank there you. we go. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Spencer. You're fired. Patreon.com forward slash the Vivi Rose to sign up. You can watch all of our interviews 
completely unedited. And then we put out like an edited version later. And then we got Batya Unger Sargon this week. She joined us last night. So I'll talk about her book. Where is it? Do I have it here? I think I do. It's bad the news. Holy, the, How woke media is undermining is democracy. democracy. You can't see it, but I mean, you can see it on mine. You can't see it on his because Jay's a boomer. Um, yes, that was uh, that was a great, great time. And uh, very excited for that's going to be dropping on Thursday, but on Friday, Friday, Jay, that's where that's where the big fun comes in. Yes, so sir. the Blaze TV, the podcast you are here with Sydney Watson and Elijah Schaefer, invited both Jay and myself on for an in studio live stream Friday night. On there, I guess just their YouTube channel. I don't know if it's on Rumble or anywhere else, but they have a YouTube show. And so stay tuned for that. Jay and I will be uniting for the first time in like what six, seven, eight months. I think it's like, yeah, it's around there. Yeah. Since I yeah. think since June. Yeah. So we are going to go together. We're gonna 69 together. Absolutely and- live live on on the show so stay tuned for that and we'll give you more details on that so we got any questions yeah Spencer? we got a couple so first um from epicus uh on rumble asks how often do you have to empty your catheter i think that's a question for you jay <laughs> jay what is how often do you have to empty it Every every two hours, it's a pretty That's, big catheter. Me, it's every sixty nine minutes. So, get on my level. Francesca Gillis, this is a, I believe her first to BB Power Hour. Welcome to the stream. Very very glad to to have you on here. She says, Suraj, what color thumbs up emoji do you use? I actually never use the thumbs up emoji. I only use <laughs> the writing hand emoji. Although I could go through my phone right now and see exactly which emojis I'm using. And it looks like it's just the eggplant emoji. Hmm. That's strange. Well, just the eggplant <laughs> emoji? Yeah. This. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just the eggplant emoji. I love yeah. that. That's so good. So that's what he sends me when we're ready to 69. Brian says this chat is like 80% women. Women only want one thing, and it's disgusting. That's right. They only want Ernie. This is actually not disgusting. Dan West Pizza says, any chance you could get me Sydney's phone number? No, Sydney Powell. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I don't have her phone number. Um I also don't have Cindy Watson's phone number, but I'll see what I could do. Like, by <laughs> Raj, you, did you get my Chick Fil A gift card? I have to check my mail. I haven't checked it yet. <laughs> 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 I just haven't checked. It. I'll check. I'll look for it. Akirab, sir. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sir, serious question. Where is Pakistani accent? It is here. It is coming out right here. As soon as you ask me, sir. I it is comes out here. It is here. You do I it. am telling you. Nate BB Bean Dude 99 says, Are those candles or dildos behind you, Saraj? Let's go find out. Dildo. He can he can do it. He can use candles as dildos. You can. Anything, anything is a dildo if you're brave enough. Right. Canon 8787 says. Now that I'm retired from army, who gives best advice for growing a beard? Any secrets, Jay? Oh, shit. Well, uh, technically, I, I'm use... married to a beard. You are? I'm married to a beard, yeah. You have a beard, too. That's why we're 69ing in Dallas. Absolutely, we are. So yeah. the trick is is to eat ass. I mean, when you eat ass, the vitamins 
go straight to your hair. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Which vitamins? Vitamin B. <laughs> Vitamin BH <laughs> for butthole. <laughs> No, really. I use um, I use a what's it called? A uh, it's it's a little roller with like needles on it. Yeah, you use know. that, and then you put some Rogaine, and that's what I use. It helped me. Wait, you put I Ro used to you put Rogaine. You put Rogaine in your beard? Oh yeah, yeah. I used to have like really a lot of bald spots over here. Like I have and you can still see. Oh, I don't use Rogaine. I don't use Rogaine. But I I use the roller and Rogaine, and it helps. Because I used to, I used to shave it all the way down, like like the way you have yours, but now because I use the roller and Rogaine, like it it grows a lot fuller around these areas. I'm really, really liking being back on the show. Scott Bias says, "Is that the CFA gift card Mom gave us for Christmas?" <laughs> Oh shit! Let's hope let's hope Mama Bai doesn't watch this uh, this episode. That would be that naughty, naughty Blake. Naughty, naughty. Uh, Damon, naughty. Uh, Damon Toll. Uh, imagine, uh, aka Brooklyn Dad. Imagine not celebrating National Pizza Day. Well, first of all, we're not mayo whores, and secondly, New York pizza, in all honesty, is kind of shit. <laughs> did, 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 really did. really honest here New York <laughs> pizza. it really is it, like what is it's like a thin layer of of dough and then it's just you know store-bought cheese and fucking uh pepperoni that's it and uh, it's yeah it's you're from really, california you don't really get a say on new york pizza just just put it out there uh no no worries i'm actually from a place called lebanon that has high influence uh, from Italy. So doing, I know man? my dough. I know my dough. I know I know some pizza. You know, my favorite pizza is uh, Domino's. Okay. They put that that garlic, that I, garlic. I, I, I have. I I got Ernie a little present. present. Let's see it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Come on, bud. Jay, will you? Will you? I'll sit right on it. Please, I would love absolutely to in my baguette. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna get a screenshot of this, and Damon Toll somehow is just being. <laughs> uh, Ernie, come on! You don't want this? I thought he was gonna. Kyle Ferris, you guys want to do a super Super Bowl stream like last year? Honestly, I'm thinking about doing it. I'll probably have a Super Bowl stream uh, this year. Um, I don't know what what Siraj is doing, uh, especially because you know it's Valentine's weekend and all that kind of shit. So you never know what people are up to. But I am totally down for a uh, Super Bowl stream. I even I don't, got, I don't know what I'm doing, Jay. I have no idea. I even have a Rams shirt, so I'm totally ready. Fucking bandwagon boomer. I live in California. I was gonna be Jay. a Rams fan when Tom Brady lost. I I announced it. I said it. I did it on my stream, and I said I was gonna be a Rams fan. But I wanted Tom Brady to win it all. I did. I really wanted nineteen. No, now I wanted. To, I wanted. I really wanted to, him to win now. But now that he oh, lost, oh, okay. you know. That's what I'm doing. Um, any rumble comments or questions? Uh, postcards. Don't 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 ignore this question. What? Don't ignore this question. I can just say I got it. I have. I have four four stamps. <laughs> I got I got four stamps. <laughs> Forever USA. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There so four go. of you that's, guys that's are going to get it. And yeah, and what, what does it. the postcard say? Oh, I don't want to spoil the surprise. 
Oh, okay. You guys are good. In April, you guys get in <laughs> April. Guys in get April, you'll be able to, once you when you receive it in April, you'll be able to to tweet out your your gift card, <laughs> your postcard. Oh my god. Uh, Professor, <laughs> Dan needs to be careful about where he puts his Kraken if you give him Powell's number. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, fuck. Paulio asks, are you guys excited about the Super Bowl or halftime show? I'm, I, I, you know, I watch for the game. I don't watch for the halftime show. I'm, uh, I'm, know, I'm actually pretty got, excited for, for the halftime show. No, I don't mind the halftime show. I'm just saying I don't, you know, I don't. That's not why I watch. I watch for the game. Well, right, but I mean, the halftime show is pretty good with uh, oh, hold Dr. On, hold Dre on and second. Eminem and yeah, all that kind of stuff. For sure, I forgot. Sorry, I just wanted to give you like the full out of shape Siraj right here. I love it. it. Good, yeah, I love it. Love it. So, it's so good. It's so good. Um, thank you, Ebony. She's, and here it is. That's that's that's, that's why I came. That's why I come. <laughs> Bay says, how come you can organize a trip to Dallas on short notice, but you wouldn't even have one discussion with the Habibis about Habibi Khan back when we offered to organize it for you? Bay. We got it. Honestly, we got to text her right now. Like, it we got, some it's getting close. Some, it's getting close to it. Then some developments on that. End. So you're, you're going to hear from us in just a moment which will end up being like six months from now, naturally. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Jay literally texting in the group chat. <laughs> oh, my God. I love every single time we do this. Nice it's always so good. The locals. Yeah. Um, I mean, it says, can we get a BB powerhouse big rig on the Freedom Convoy? Inshallah. Inshallah. We're going to have Inshallah, to. eh? Inshallah, eh? What are you talking about? Inshallah, eh? We will, we will talk about... How, how do you say... How, about? About. A boot. A boot. A boot. A boot. A boot, eh? There you go. You got it. So, any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> I guess... I, I guess we're not doing... <laughs> Oh, shit, we wanted. Oh, okay, we can still, we can still try. We can still try. We can still, we can do it. Come on, Faye, Habibi, Faye, Ya Omri, Ya Galbi, Ya Ya Ayuni, <laughs> Ya Habibi, Ya Nuri, Ya Nuri. Like I'm saying, you got, you got to go back and like Google Translate all these these type of things. But it's like really heartfelt stuff. Anabadi takultizak. EFA. <laughs> and of course, you know, Jesus. <laughs> Yo, this is cutting out like crazy just a second ago. Why are you, why am I, oh, Jay's actual size. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm my yeah. actual size. Nice five, four, two. Five, five, four, two. <laughs> five foot two. <laughs> if you know you know if you know if you know you know you know. You, know. Yeah. you know if you know you know if you know you know so all right I, jay i think I, I hope you all tune in tomorrow for our episode with batya yes i it's going to be a great, it's a great conversation. Very happy. Very excited about it. And um, let's see. And also Sarah, uh, Friday will be on. You are here with Sydney Watson and Elijah Schaefer over at the blaze. And if you, what's it called? Jay, what's, what's the rest, what's the rest of the, the plug? Uh, the rest of it is uh, if you want to, if you want to watch the full episode with Batia, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to our Patreon and support us because we're all independent and over at patreon.com forward slash Habibi Bros. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, if you want to join the conversation uh, of our Jihad, join mm -hmm. our uh, our Discord server where you can also post your nominations for the list, your memes for the list, and also, um, you know, just 
full on where you want us to jihad next. Yeah. And then as well, give us a like, subscribe to us, follow us on Rumble, on YouTube, on Twitch. We post all of our content on there. Um, mm -hmm. And then if you want to find us on social media, I'm on Twitter at Siraj Hashmi. I'm on Gather at Siraj Hashmi. Jay is at AskLickin on Twitter. And Spencer, our producer. Spencer, get in here. Where can we find you? Spencer underscore Sachs on Twitter. Uh, I'm not giving out my Instagram. But yeah, I'm not on Locals either because I'm not a boomer. But uh, yeah, Spencer yes. underscore Sachs. Also follow Habibi. Under, is it Habibi Bros? Habibi underscore Bros, I think. Habibi, Habibi underscore Bros. Bros. Yeah, Thank you yeah, for being Spencer. such a great producer. <laughs> I forgot what our handle was for the Habibi Bros. Jesus. <laughs> at Ben Morsi 16. And then also the list comes for all. Get all of those in. Yes, sir. Jordan says, Raj is really going to show up on Sydney's set with that weak ass beard. It, wow. It's going to grow. It's it's going to grow. Trust me. When we get when we're going to meet and I sixty nine is ass. Holy mm -hmm. shit! How it's going to grow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, BBs. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the PB Power Hour. Uh, I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. I'm Spencer. Spencer. Oh, there go, we go. go the hell, <laughs> 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 Okay, sir. Have good night. We'll see you. Have good night. See you. Love you, Habibis. And have good kun kun. Nice to